back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to talk about the evolution, the disease I had for those who haven't seen the video in which I explain how I found what I have. I will leave in the description below the link so you can watch this after seeing this video. <laughs> Today, it's been one month since I've started treatment and I want to tell you about this period. After I received the treatment from the hospital, I had to take four types of medicines during 10 days. And this medicine was to treat the disease and also to protect my stomach because I was taking a very strong medicine. At the end of this period of 10 days, my eyes reduced the swelling and the burn of the area of my scalp also disappeared. However, the headache still persisting and because of that, I decided to take the painkiller for cramps by my own. And it was very nice because it reduced the intensity and the frequency of the headaches. I was having a lot of headache in this side of my head, the right side. And after taking the medicine, this area like got anesthetic and the other side started to pain. But with less frequency and the intensity, was lower than before but the problem was i had to take twice a day and i was afraid to get addicted by it and small red inchy patches appeared in my body here in my ribs and on my legs in the right side all right side but after two weeks the inchy patches disappeared by itself but the headache still persisted so I decided to go to neurologist to understand what was going on in my head. And there I learned that the, my headache could persist in between 3 months till 10 years. And uh, it's very common, people who have shingles, they also can have a depression and move away from work, house, family's routine. So to avoid this in my daily life, my neurologist gave me, apart from the medicine for prevent the headache, uh, as the present and also a uh, ointment for the water bubbles I will call water bubbles but this kind of bubbles here and this ointment would help to dry this area but this ointment I couldn't use in this area here the scalp wound only in this part here or here I should, including my eyes and also uh, avoid the sun to prevent some spots. So after one week I went back and everything was kind of okay. And he gave me more medicines for this time two weeks for headache and antiprisant. But during the next two weeks I had some situations. First one I had a lost memory. It's like very weird. I was doing something and suddenly in the middle I just forgot what I was doing or I was talking to my husband and some words disappeared and I not talk only about English but also in Portuguese when I talk to my family in my mother language the words disappeared so the neurologist said this is because of the medicine the antiprisant because my body wasn't used to this medicine but once I get used it these symptoms will disappear. Second, remember when I told before I had some red inching patches? When I had this, I felt like I was being stabbed. And during four days, I felt this pain. And third, I had panic attack. I was laid down on my bed watching TV and suddenly I felt my heart hurting and uh, it started to beat stronger than normal it does. Every beat my heart did, I felt a pain, like my heart was trying to get out of my body and I couldn't breathe, I couldn't move and it took a couple of seconds and for me it was eternity, but for sure for just a couple of seconds. If it happens again, I have some instructions to check like if my pressure is high or low, if it's beating faster. Because when I was having the symptoms, I couldn't pay attention. I only put pay attention in the pain and the lack of air. And the worst one, the scalp of my wound starts to move. The, the bottom part was, I don't know, getting out and some some liquid come out and get it dried so it was very thick and inching one night accidentally 
I was getting my hair out and I touched this cup and no pain I didn't feel nothing I just I just listen and too. it touched the floor it made a sound I didn't have courage to look my face in the mirror so I asked my husband to look and my husband didn't say anything just pick up his phone and called my brother because my brother is doctor and he asked some advices for my situation so we put the ointment and we didn't cover and then my husband my mother-in-law and i we went to neurologist i explained every symptoms i had and to help me with this cup he gave us some orientations and we went to the pharmacy to buy the medicines and also this sticker it sucks the water that the wound produce and make it dry enough to you apply the ointment for prevent the scaring and then my mother-in-law decided to take me immediately to the dermatologist to get some advice about the hole I had in the middle of my eyes and the dermatologist said the ointment and the sticker will help but it will not be enough probably I will need a plastic surgery to close the hole but I have to wait three months till my wound skin get healthy and health enough for this plastic surgery analyze and decide if it's good or not make the surgery I hope till there the wounds get closed because uh, Today, I'm living normally, if you can say it is normally, because the day I delay to take my medicines, my headache doesn't let me forget her. <laughs> and also my body gets so tired. I have desire to do nothing, just wanna lay down the bed and be sleepy. But it's like this, uh, I realize I'm having these symptoms, I immediately take my medicine and after 10 minutes, I'm woo, refresh. <laughs> yes, nice. <laughs> the scar has been filled up, and when I touch, I don't feel the depression it had before. And guys, you see here, right? This is the sticker. Sometimes I feel my scar existing. I put the stickers because it avoids me to inch. Because sometimes my hair falls like this, and I need to do this, and I can accidentally touch the hole and it is very unpleasant and also when I go outside because I, I want to prevent the pollution I don't know something can fall in and I don't want to take any risks but, but the part is everything is okay the next video I should will be after my plastic surgery appointment in case I had the surgery I will make the video after the surgery so you can see the final results well guys it's all for today stay tuned and See you later. Bye-bye.